Hello everyone. Welcome to the greenhouse and welcome to the channel. It's Danny. I hope this video finds you well. And if this is your first time here in the greenhouse, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. And if you've been here before, as always, welcome back. Today's video is brought to you by orchidsupplystore.com. They have everything you need for your orchids and your house plants. And if you use the coupon code Danny, D-A-N-N-I, make sure that's an I at the end, not a Y, you will receive 12% off. And I'm gonna use their media products today in repotting and replanting a huge whale fin snake plant. So come along. Before we get into repotting this, I really think this plant is super cool. I love the name of it, whale fin. Just to show you guys, I'm stretching my hand out. I mean, I have small hands, but look how huge. And look how gorgeous the back is. And now listen. It's so thick. Probably like whale skin. I don't know. I just, I'm kind of loving this plant right now. I think it's really, really fun. Now I pulled it out of the nursery pot it came in because um, I want to give it some more drainage to its soil, but I kind of wanted to see if I could separate these two and kind of make them more aesthetically pleasing to the eye inside their new pot. But I really don't want to disturb this beautiful root system. Looks like we'll have another one popping out right there soon. And so I'm just, I just scraped all that loose soil off as I could. I have a pot sitting down right there, catching it. Um, so I'm not gonna do anything, but I wanna take you along and show you, let me dump this old soil out. I wanna take you along and show you what I'm gonna use for its new media. Orchidsupplystore.com is where all of these came from, and they're really great because they come in these Ziploc baggies. So we have medium size orchid bark. I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Medium size orchid bark. We've got raised bed garden soil and perlite. And I'm gonna mix it all up in my wonderful bowl right here. Let me grab my cup. I'm really happy that the prices of house plants are starting to lower because I had been wanting a whale fin snake plant. And I'm not a, I'm not a fan of snake plants, you guys. I'm not a huge fan of snake plants. Uh, they just don't tickle my fancy. They they aren't my jam. I have one other snake plant that used to be here in the greenhouse. It is now inside. But that's it. But I'm really happy that the price of plants has gone down. Because now, as plant people, well, it seems like the price of orchids have shot up. Oh, this is good soil. So I have not, oh, I got a sneeze, hold on. So sorry about that, you guys. I did not show this on the last video, but take a look at how nice that soil is. There's already some drainage in there. Perfect. But I think the price of orchids has gone up. The price of house plants is going down price of orchids are going up. Maybe that means more people are getting into orchids, huh? <laughs> that would be awesome. You guys know I love my house plants, but my passion is orchids and it always will be. Okay, now let's get the perlite. I might need more soil than that, I'm not sure show you the fancy pot I got for it as well. And yeah, I'm 
I'm not one of those people that gardens and repots, replants with gloves. I just never have them. All right, let's put some Perlite in there. Nothing wrong if you are. And you gotta spend time at the kitchen sink scrubbing your nail beds out before you go to the grocery store, huh? Okay, let's mix this up. So there's bark, soil, perlite. And the reason why I'm adding the bark is I wanted to give it extra drainage because if you've been with me for a while, you might know that your girl is an overwaterer. And I don't want to, <laughs> I want to take every step possible to ensure that I don't rot this plant. Okay, so this is what we're looking like. Looks really good. Love this product from Orchid Supply Store. We're gonna ziplock these baggies back up. And here is the pot that I purchased for it. Beautiful. You guys know I'm really into the earth tones, the warm tones, the yellows, the greens, the beiges. I love those tones. So we're gonna just fill it in now. You can kind of see how deep I've got it, about halfway down. And I'm gonna fill in around it now. This plant will not be staying here in the greenhouse. It'll actually be either going in my kitchen or next to the one and only other snake plant that I have. All right, give it a couple tappity tap taps. Still just so heavy, it has grown kind of backwards. That's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to prevent it, not backwards, leaning back. And that's what I'm trying to prevent. This soil is really, really nice. is gonna look so good. I'm so excited about this plant. Sorry about the noise of the heater that kicked in in the background. Okay, you guys, she's all done. Look how beautiful. It's heavy, but look how beautiful and cool and unique and awesome this plant is. I'm so happy to finally have added it to my plant collection. If you have a whale fin, let me know down in the comments. I know there's a variegated one out there, but I have not had the opportunity to see it in person yet. And thank you orchidsupplystore.com for this awesome, awesome soil mix. Happy growing everyone. Stay safe till next time.